Hi and welcome to a very special feature, feature Friday here with Oil Life. We're actually not in the Oil Life building today. We've come to Simple Elegance Rock Shop and we're so excited because today is going to be all about gems and rocks and how to use them with your oils and in your daily life. So I'm here with Vicki and Ben. Can you tell us a little bit about Simple Elegance? Simple Elegance is a rock shop and we have a lot of different types of rocks and a lot of different ideas. We have um, four family members that are here most of the time. There's Ben, who is the owner, um, Jack, who is his father, I am his aunt, and we also have a cousin that comes in and builds our lapidary machines for us. His name's Mike Scow. And you can't forget the puppy. This and is... we also have our <laughs> rock hound that comes with us rock candy. And she's here a lot too. And she's so friendly. So we're so excited to be here today and to learn about gems. Okay, so one of the reasons that we came is because we were able to get these really beautiful new water bottles into our store, and some of you may have seen them. So we wanted to just learn as much as we could about what gemstones really actually do for your body and how to safely use them. So can you tell us a little bit about gemstones and which ones would be safe and beneficial for use and which maybe we shouldn't use? All right, so there are some rocks that contain lead and copper and arsenic and of course anything radioactive or that would glow in the dark would probably be not very good for the human body. Uh, there are of course things that can dissolve into your water. Uh, jade and, as and serpentine contain asbestos so you wouldn't want to use those. Fluoride can be particularly bad because it is actually toxic to the human body. Be aware of what you're putting into your body. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when we're talking about these gemstones, it's so important. We're so glad that we were able to come get this information from experts because it's so important to just know what the properties of the gemstones are and how you're using them to make sure you're using them correctly. So one of the things that's really cool about this particular bottle is that the gemstones that are used are safe and they're encased in lead-free glass, which makes it so that you don't have to polish or clean the gemstones. They're already done for you and they're going to continue to stay that way because they're so protected. And it also will keep you safe from any of the heavy metals that you really don't want in your body. It just gives you the benefits of the energy that the, these gemstones contain and emit, the vibrations that they emit, and the way that they react with the water crystals, which can even change taste, texture, and the way that you're able to absorb um, good minerals from water. So we've learned so much about this water bottle and we're excited for you to try it. If you've been trying it or if you've been trying gem water, let us know. We want to hear about it. So recently we've been talking a lot about the excitement that is these new rollers. They've got gemstones on the top as the roller portion that actually helps roll on your oils. And so we've come right to the gem experts and this is Vicki from Simple Elegance Rock Shop and she's going to be telling us a little bit about the different gemstones and their properties. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is carnelian. It increases personal power, physical energy, courage, compassion, and creativity. This would be a really good one to use with, with one of your oils that is for creativity. Maybe a passion blend. Mm -hmm. um, the Tiger Eye rebalances on all level, levels, encourages optimism, comes in a golden brown, blue, or red. This is adventuring. This is a prosperity stone. It is one that helps bring you good luck. And it is also the higher heart chakra, which is said to help heal the actual muscle of the heart. This one is rose quartz. The rose quartz is the heart chakra. It's the lower heart chakra. It's for sensitivity and hope. It helps to heal your heart when you have romantic problems and it also helps you with your um, different relationships in family, not just in romance. We have the clear quartz, which is also the head chakra. It energizes the centers of the body, helps clear and release the chakras so the healing can occur. Thank you so much. Um, well, something that's really cool that we were talking about earlier is that all of the gems have different vibrations. They all have energy, just like the oil carries energy and vibrations. So when you use them together, some of them pair really nicely together and you're able to get more of the benefits because they really enhance each other. So Vicki, why don't you tell us, obviously Vicki knows so much and you can oh, tell. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's got lots of stones around her neck. So why don't you tell us which one is your favorite? Oh, my favorite is probably citrine. Um, I like the citrine because it is a prosperity stone and it helps heal um, the 
I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> it also helps heal your um, solar plexus area, so it helps with your lungs, and it helps you to feel overall better all day. It's got a, it has a sunny disposition, so it's probably one of my favorite. It's beautiful. I love it. So let us know which stone is your favorite. Leave it in the comments below. Also, if you've used any of these rollers or if you've used gemstone water, let us know. We want to hear what your experience is with these. Or if you have any questions as well, we'll bring them back to Vicki. Uh, we've had a really great time learning about the stones here. So while we've got her here, we're actually going to talk about the amethyst as well that we just talked about. This is the bottom part of the Via Jewel water bottle. So um, what does an amethyst do? What are the properties of amethyst? The amethyst is also considered third eye chakra, so it's for insight. It, um, it is a very calming stone. It's a protective stone. It's a stress reliever. It strengthens business sense. So it's an all around good stone to have. I, I really like the amethyst too. It's a, it's a really nice stone. And it's beautiful to top it all off. Yes, These it is. Beautiful. It's also an actual gemstone. So. Are there some of them that aren't? What's the difference between the ones that are gemstones? Um, semi-precious. Some of them are semi-precious and some of us, some of them are precious stones. Okay. Amethyst is one that is actually a birthstone for February. Okay. So it can be faceted as, as a gemstone. Some of these are not as likely to be faceted. You don't find usually the, the opaque or um, like jaspers and the um, tiger eye and adventuring. You don't usually find those faceted as faceted stones. You find them more often as cabochons. Oh, okay. Does Is that for a certain reason? Do they have like different properties or it's just because of the way that they look? The way that they cut, the way that when you mm -hmm. facet them, when you look down into a gem and you look through facets, you see a whole different stone than you do when you look through a cabochon where it's just a flat rounded stone. See we're learning so much and I've been talking to her for hours so it's funny um there's so much to learn about this and it's really cool that it can have such effect like affecting properties on your body and on the way that you are functioning. Well, Let us yeah. know if you have any questions we'd love to hear from you. So that's what we have for you today, all about gems and rocks. A special thanks to Vicki, Ben, Jack, and all of the Simple Elegance Rock Shop family. It's been wonderful. We have a lot of other services at the Rock Shop. We do a lot of jewelry. We also teach everything we do. So if you need to learn how to bead, or if you'd like to learn how to make your own cabochons, facet stones, um, silversmithing, and wire wrapping are all taught here and they're taught one-on-one -on -one, so you don't have to compete with a class. I was in here the other day they were talking about a rock hounding trip that they were going on. They're always looking for new stones, new rocks. This is a very unique and informational shop and we've loved being here. Give them a visit. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for coming in.